Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to use Google Classroom for your binder this year. Now, once you log into your Google Classroom, I will be using sixth grade as an example. You have several things up here. You have your stream, uh, thing with this kind of like an Instagram feed or anything that I put into your Google Classroom will appear here. In classwork, this is where I will put everything that I that you will need for this class. So your morning check, your homework, your notes, videos and your book and then your ixl work people are all the students that are in this class and then grades are the grades you receive for the assignments that i give specifically when you come into google classroom you must come into classwork do not use the stream we do not want to be here we want to be in classwork first thing you want to do every single morning is find out what is happening for my morning check-in if you come to class earlier and I'm not in the Google Meet or in the Zoom, make sure you find out what is happening in the morning check-in. If there's no assignment, please read the material or instructions that I give for you here. Then you have your homework section. Please notice that you have assignments and they tell you when they are due or what dates they are due. How, do you, how can you find all of your assignments when they are due? You can also go to your calendar, so I'll do that again. Right here in the top left corner, we have this button that says, or these three horizontal lines. And if you click on them, you have this calendar. And if you click on calendar, it will now show all of the assignments that you have for that specific day, okay? So let's go back to sixth grade. We are in our section, we have our morning check-in, we have homework, and now this is where I wanna talk about to you today, is your notes. How will your notes look in your binder? Where do I get my notes? So, for example, we are starting on chapter one and we will be on lesson one, one. Once you open up your notes, it's gonna take a little bit to load, but please notice I put things you need to write down in a red box. If it is in a red box, it must be in your binder. I will say that again. If it is in a red box, it must be in your binder. Failure to do so, you will not receive points. And I'll make this very clear. If you just decide to skip one sentence, you will not get points. This is pass or fail. Please notice that sometimes the notes will be very short and sometimes they will be longer. So for example, you have to scroll down. You, the excuse, I did not see it, does not exist. Please scroll through everything before you finish your notes. Notice, there are some notes that go some, sometimes even all the way to the last page. So we have this section right here and we have this section right here that you need to copy down. I will now show you what this looks like in your binder. Hello, middle school. This is what your math binder should look like. So you have your binder. I will be using my iPad to display, but everything that is in here should be inside of your binder. So please label the front of your binder, whatever you might, might wanna call it. The first section that you need to have in your binder. So again, I have three tabs. So I have tab one, tab two and tab three your first tab again i'll say this again i'll write it right here your first tab is called notes so in your notes please make sure you have your uh, you know this page and then this is what your notes should look like so based off of the video that i from the google classroom this is what your notes should look like please make sure you have your name you must again i will say this again you must have your name written down you must also have the date i will say this again for every single notes you take you must have your name and you must have the date this goes in the top right corner i will say this again you must there are no exceptions there is no i forgot there is none every single time you take notes your name and date go in the top right now next thing that we have is we have our learning objectives okay i'll say that again this these are our learning objectives you must copy them down please make sure you label again it must be legible because you will be sending me a picture so if i cannot read it for example here is here are my notes if i zoom in and i'm not or i am unable to read your notes then you will not receive points okay so please make sure you copy you have your lesson uh, number your lesson title and then you write legibly 
okay once you are copying your notes if you'd like to use colors to distinguish certain things but please make sure you have everything you need in there most importantly when you are watching the video notes you are responsible again in your notes section you are responsible for the examples in all of my videos again i'll say this again in all of my videos videos we will do either one two or three examples so one two or three examples these must again i'm gonna write they must be in your binder okay notice in this in this sixth grade lesson i only have two examples and here they are they are written down they are clearly illegible and i can see that you showed your work again please remember that no work no points if you do not do this you will not receive points i will say that again if you do not show work you will not receive points okay now your second section is the worksheets you receive this in a packet those of you that are remote you receive this in the packet that was given to you again please remember that you have three sections we are now on section two this is where the worksheets come into place okay so please have them inside a three ring binder please make sure you have your title page here labeled worksheets and then you must have your worksheet completed please look at the work right did i show my work yes i did did i show my work yes i did did i check my answers yes i did did i circle my answers Yes, I did. These are all things that you need to do. I will say that again. These are all things that you need to do. Why did I put a question mark? I'm asking myself, did I show my work? Yes, I did. Okay, here's the next part. Vocabulary. Listen to what it says. It says, write what you know. Please do not Google. Please do not write. I don't know. Those are not answers. You will not receive points. I will say this again. You will not receive points if you write, I don't know. If you honestly don't know, please use a book, use a dictionary, just not Google. Okay? So review. What is a factor? I think it's a number that you multiply or when you divide a number out of it, like 3 and 6 are factors of 12. I tried my best to write what I understood about this word. Did I show my work? Here's my question mark again. Yes, I did. I did not just write a few words like, I don't know. I'll say this again. This will not get you points. This will not get you points, okay? Just let's make that clear, okay? Last but not least, here again, a few more questions. Did I show my work? Okay, yes, I did. Here we go. I have all of my work here. My answer is circled. My answer is circled. Using things like, I did it in my head will not be accepted. If it looks like you didn't show your work or if you just kind of scribbled and you tried to make it look like work, you will receive a zero. I will say this again. If you make it look like it's fake work, fake it till you make it, you will receive a zero for everything. I'll say this again. Please, please, please show your work part three of your binder again we have three parts part three of your binder is live video notes this is what we do together in our daily classes i will explain what i mean about this but this this is where we do our live practice problems in section three i expect section three to be completed on graph paper i will say this again i expect section three to be completed on graph paper, okay?